If you read by today's title, we're doing a Morgan Monday. You're probably like, what is that? So I decided to bring this segment to my channel just to give us something to talk about each and every Monday. Uh, we're going to talk about different things. I'm going to have special guests. We're going to have some wine, some drinks, some food, just different things every Monday just for us to sit down and talk and I can really get personal with y'all and just share some of my experiences, some of my crazy stories, and just some girl talk. So definitely leave me some comments below if you have any certain topics you want to talk about next week or any situations that you want to talk about, any advice that you might want from me because y'all know I love to talk. You can DM me on Instagram as well if you want it to be private. I'm perfectly fine with leaving everybody anonymous. So yeah, if this is your first time seeing me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and welcome to my family. And if you're returning, thank you so much for the support. I do thank everybody for 600 subscribers. We are on the road to 1,000, so I'm so grateful. I know I haven't been as consistent, but y'all been patient with me and I'm thankful for that. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the video. We're gonna talk about some topics of just dating yourself, self-love, celibacy, all of those type of things. We just gonna talk. I got me some wine and we just gonna chill. So make sure you go grab your drink, grab your snack, you know, whatever you wanna grab and let's get into some things, okay? See you in a few. All right, y'all, let's get into the video. Um, y'all know I like to talk, so I hope I don't get too off topic, but we just gonna, we just gonna sit and talk or whatever. So the point of this video basically is just to go over how to date yourself and I'm just gonna like explain some experiences that I had that led me up to this point and just how to heal, self heal, self love, all of those type of things or whatever. So we're gonna start with dating yourself. So about two, almost three years ago, I started this journey of just really dating myself and like a self healing journey. It was not planned, it just happened. And honestly, I'm so happy that I did it. I'm still on this journey and I'm just excited for the future. But pretty much, I was just at a point where it's like this. I've been single, I've had my fun, I had my hot girl stages, I had the relationship, I've done a lot. And I just was at the point where I'm just like, it's just not working like I can't find the person that I want I can't find what I'm looking for and I'm sick of meaningless relationships the meaningless sex I'm just sick of it I'm not saying I was out here crazy and nothing but you know I'm just I was just sick of everything I was sick of men in general like and I really didn't really understand what I was going through at the time it was just I was in a weird space let's just say that I was in a very weird space where I was like, I really don't want anybody. Like, I'm not interested in the people that's trying to talk to me. I don't want to go on dates. I don't want to talk on the phone. I don't want to link up. I was just kind of like over it. And I would say after a year, I finally like realized like, okay, God is telling me to sit down and just focus on myself. Like literally focus on myself with no distractions. So the first year went by, I have I was not talking to anybody serious. Like, of course, I probably text people here and there, but I wasn't really talking to anybody serious. So um, once I seen that I went a year without talking to anybody, I was like, hmm, like I'm actually good. Sorry, I thought I heard something. But yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm actually good. Like it wasn't really like a big change for me because at the end of the day i've been single for a long time but i'm a relationship type of bitch like at heart i'm a lover girl like being outside is not for the week and it's honestly not for me like talking to different people at once is not for me it's honestly not like so i was always kind of like to myself and more reserved in that matter because i'm just like i don't really want a whole bunch of men in my face anyway but i was just like okay it's been a year, I haven't talked to anybody, I haven't slept with anybody, 
and I'm just learning more things about myself. I'm really not distracted. Like, I'm really focusing on me. So, in that, you know, I was like, okay, I'm low-key, like, dating myself. I'm finding more things about myself because I'm growing up. I'm getting older. I'm learning new things in life in general. So, it's just like, I was just on this self-healing journey that I didn't even plan on getting on. I feel like God was just like, Morgan, you obviously... It ain't working. Whatever you're doing, it ain't working. Let me sit you down. Let me let you figure some stuff out and figure yourself out. And it was so needed. So if, you, if you're if you feeling like that, if you're feeling like you're at a phase where it's just like you're done with the situationships, the talking stages, the sneaky links, whatever y'all kids like to call it these days, and you just kind of over it, but you just... I don't know. I was just in a weird space. Like, I was just like, I don't know what it is. It was not planned. It's not like I said, let me just sit back for a year and not talk to somebody. It was not planned. It just happened. And after that first year, I'm just like, I'm going to do this again for another year. Like, until I meet what I'm looking for. And I'm really not looking for a relationship. But if it would have happened, I'm not going to turn it down. If it's right, if it feels right, if it makes sense, you know, I'm not going to turn it down. But what I was kind of looking for was just somebody that I could really vibe with that respects me. And as crazy as that sounds, I still have not found that. So I told myself in the meantime, everything is on lock. My energy, <laughs> my coochie, my energy, my vibe, my presence, because I, I had to learn my worth. So once I learned my worth, I'm just like, okay... I let a lot of shit slide. I'm not going to lie. Learning your worth is not for the weak. Your life is going to be boring, okay? Boring. Like, you're not going to want to even have meaningless conversations, let alone meaningless sex. You're not going to want to have pointless convos, pointless pointless link-ups. You're not going to want to have none of that shit. you like, uh-uh, baby, you not, uh-uh, mm-mm. So, I literally had to go through that. I'm just like, damn. It is what it is. I'm here now. Fuck it. So... I had to start just really like loving myself and I know it's so cliche to say but I feel like if you feeling like that or you just kind of feeling like you let people take energy from you because I feel like when you're dealing with somebody in relationships or like talking stages and stuff that takes a lot of energy if it's toxic if it's not right that takes a lot of energy just arguing and figuring it out and worry about what they doing they worry about what you're doing it's just a lot it's honestly a lot so I feel like when I went on this journey I was just like I don't want distractions like I don't want somebody taking me off my pivot of just really finding myself and preparing myself for my next relationship whenever it comes because I told God whenever it's the right time and you bring somebody in my life, I trust that I'm going to know and it's going to work out. And so then I'm not forcing nothing. I'm not, no, I'm not even going to be sad if I don't got no man. I'm just going to be okay with it. And I literally had to be okay with it. So, um, yeah, I just had to learn a lot of like self-worth and self-love and just kind of figuring out what do I like? Who am I? What am I into? Like just those type of conversations that you really don't think about when you're dealing with somebody. You know, when you're dealing with somebody, you kind of just low-key forget yourself kind of lose yourself in a sense everybody don't lose their self i'm just talking like for me over a year went by and stuff and i'm just like okay i'm getting older i'm learning more about myself i'm taking myself out on dates i'm doing more self-care things at home and honestly it just it just really helped me with the next guy that come in my life you have to come a certain way like you cannot come to me any kind of way because it's not going to work i'm going to dismiss it i'm just going to dismiss it it's just that i'm just going to dismiss it so it's just like i'm building up my standards and i'm building up my confidence i'm building up my self-worth i had to like realize like okay in the beginning it wasn't planned it just happened i took a break from men i took a break from having sex i took a break from having dates and all of that type of stuff so in the beginning i'm just like you know what fuck these niggas they ain't shit i don't need them but after like a year i'm just like okay when it is time for me to hop back in these streets or hop back in a relationship i need to realize where i'm at fall and what triggers me and what my toxic traits are because i feel like we kind of blame others for like failed relationships and stuff which it could be the other person fall but at the end of the day nobody's perfect and we play a part in it too so i have to kind of like sit back and think like in my last relationship like what part did i play what part could i had a you know been a better me so that's another thing like i feel like i just really been figuring out what is toxic about me because we all have those toxic traits whether we want to admit it or not and i really had to just 
figure that out. With that being said, I figured out my toxic traits and I'm just like, okay, okay, I, you know, maybe I was a bitch. Maybe I did like to argue, you know, stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, so I know moving forward, if I do meet somebody that I'm like, okay, I'm kind of feeling and it's worth something and it's going somewhere, I'm going to know what not to do. So I feel like we definitely have to acknowledge where we, you know, played a part in certain situations and realizing what triggers us as well because a lot of times we'll meet somebody and it will trigger you from like a past relationship and stuff and it just will bring out the worst side of you and you don't want that dating yourself really gives you time to really know yourself because you never know when you might meet your next relationship and you never know that might be your husband like you just never know like life just kind of happens and you want to be prepared you want to be the best version of you even when you're single you still can be fixing yourself for your next relationship like by the time i get in a relationship i feel like i'm gonna be i'm not gonna be perfect of course but i'm gonna be level-headed i'm gonna be confident in myself and i'm gonna 100 percent know my worth love myself so i know what not to do and what to do you know what i'm saying and speaking of like loving myself i feel like when it comes to being happy in a relationship you cannot depend on one person to make you happy you can meet a man tomorrow he can be rich fine smelling good sweet you know all of that and make you so 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 happy but at the end of the day if you was not happy before that man you're not going to be happy during that man and you damn sure not going to be happy after that man and i had to learn that the hard way i had to really learn that you cannot put your happiness in not a man's hands not a not a friendship not a family like you can't put your happiness in nobody's hands but yours because somebody can come and make you happy y'all can date for like three years but once y'all break up, you going back to the beginning of not feeling yourself, not securing yourself, and you just back at square one. No, 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 no. You have to be okay with, if this work, of course I want it to work, but if it don't, I'm going to move on. I'm going to, you know, boss up and I'm going to just go to the next thing. You have to have that mindset because feeling like, oh, I love him. If this work, I'm not going to be nobody. I'm not going to do nothing. You're going to stay in situations that's just not for you. And I feel like that's what I've done in the past. I stayed in situations that just simply did not serve me anymore. But I didn't want to let it go because it was bringing me so much happiness. And I really didn't understand that I could bring myself that same happiness, if not more. So I would say definitely don't put your happiness in nobody's hands like nobody's hands damn sure not no man i'm just being honest sis you gotta make yourself happy you gotta be able to celebrate yourself you have to be able to please yourself you have to be able to love yourself compliment yourself spoil yourself you have to be able to do all of that so when you do meet a man he gonna see that like he gonna see like damn i know she loved me but she don't need me so i'm gonna know how to move with her and I feel like that's what it's about. A man should know how to move with you. A man should be like, okay, I know this bitch don't need me, so I got to really be on my toes. Because if a man feel like you need him, or you need him to take care of you, or you need his money, whatever the case may be, oh, he going to play with you. And he know you're not going to go nowhere. And that's just how fucked up it is, but that's just the honest truth. So you have to, like, already set the standard, set the tone for, like, a, you know, your next relationship. Like, hey, um... I like you, but I don't need you. I'm still going to be that bitch after you. I'm going to be that bitch during you because I was that bitch before you. And you just have to have that energy. No cocky shit, but that's just some real shit. So these are just some things that I learned when it came to dating myself. And I feel like it was definitely needed. Now, you can date yourself and still be involved with somebody. You can still have be having sex with somebody. You know, you can do all of that. But me personally, I just did not want the distractions. Like like I said, it wasn't planned, but once I was there, I was there. And I went a year without talking to nobody. I'm just like, damn, hey, it is what it is. Like, I'm here now. Fuck it. So I feel like, yeah, it was real easier for me to not have any distractions because dealing with somebody, it kind of would have triggered me to, like, go back to my old ways or get dependent of somebody. And then it's like, we stopped talking. Now I'm sad as fucking shit. And I'm back at square one. And it, it, trust me, it has that happened in this journey. Trust me, that has happened. It has not been an easy journey, but it just it is what it is. And I'm grateful for it. And I feel like God really put me in this position to like sit back and realize like what do I want and who am I? Like who am I as a person and what do I have to offer to somebody as well? Moving on to the next topic, I'm gonna talk about mm, celibacy. Not really celibacy, because I feel like being celibate that's like not believing in sex before marriage. I definitely 
I'm not on that, but I have took a break from sex. I'm not gonna tell y'all how long, but just know it's been over two years. Believe me or not, I really don't care, but that's just my honest truth. So I did take a break from sex and it was not planned. It honestly was not, but it just happened. And I'm not gonna lie, like, like I said, when you know your worth, life gets boring because I feel like I've had my phases where I had pointless sex, you know, have sex, don't call him back, he don't call you back, whatever the case, you just having fun. And it's nothing wrong with that because I'm a firm believer of women do have needs just like men have needs. And it's nothing wrong with going to get your sis. It's nothing wrong with that, okay? But me personally, I've been there, done that. I'm 24 now and I just feel like when I had my hot girl phase, I knew that wasn't a lifestyle. It wasn't me. It was a moment. It was an era. It was a it was a phase. And I'm okay with it. I don't regret it. Take me back sometimes. I'll be having flashbacks, you know, take me back to 2016. Okay. But but at the end of the day, I'm content with that being a phase and I'm over it. I don't want to just have sex and just not give a fuck about the person I'm having sex with. I feel like soul ties are real. I feel like when you have sex with somebody, you open up their demons into you, your demons into them. I feel like it's just, sex is a beautiful thing and I feel like this generation just act like it's just nothing. And I'm sorry, it's something, okay? I know my worth and I'm just not gonna give it to somebody just to say I'm giving it to somebody. And I had to just learn that. Like, it is what it is. It's gonna be some lonely nights. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's gonna be some lonely nights. But like I said, you can't depend on nobody for nothing. Not your happiness, not your pleasure. Whatever a man can do, you can do to yourself. If you know, you know. But I'm just, you know, I'm just being honest. So yeah, like, it's been a while since I had sex and I'm not gonna lie, like, People around me clown me about it in the beginning because they're like, girl, what the fuck? You ain't had sex in a year. You ain't had that. And I'm just like, at first, I was very embarrassed to talk about it because I'm just like, damn, like, what the fuck? Am I broke? Like, am, is something wrong with me? But it was just me healing and learning my learning my self-worth and having self-love and just realizing that I don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to have pointless sex anymore. And... If I met somebody that gave me that feeling that I'm looking for, of course I'll do it. But until then, I'm not just going to do it just to say I'm doing it. I can handle myself if I need to. Other than that, I'm perfectly fine. Sex is not everything to me. It never has been and it never will be. It's not a bad thing, but it's not everything to me. And that's just me personally. I ain't speaking for nobody else. I ain't telling y'all to take no whole year off without popping that thing. That's just something that I did and that's something that I'm still currently doing. I still haven't had sex and I'm perfectly fine with it. So I feel like sometimes you have to kind of take those breaks to really like know yourself and just find yourself worth. And it just, ha you have to just accept whatever comes with it, comes with it. Okay, sis? Yeah, those lonely nights, those boring nights or just not having fun. Like you see everybody around you you know, out here living their best life and you like, damn, shit, I'm, I'm trying to see what that be about. At the end of the day, it's all worth it because you want a journey that's for you. It's it's a self-healing journey for a reason because it's for you. You can't try to be like everybody else. Everybody else might not have the same demons that you fight and everybody else might not have the same problems that you have. They might not be having sex with the same people that you having sex with. They people probably making them feel secure or making them feel respected but yours not so you can't really base that on what your friends doing or what people around you doing to what you're doing at the end of the day i had to learn like i'm doing this for me it's literally for me it's for my healing it's for my self-worth and it just is what it is and like i feel like once you get to that point you got to just kind of like ignore the outside noise if you feel what i'm saying like it is what it is like it's literally not bad i'm still going through that phase of just not having sex and i'm trying to put y'all in my business but i want to be as transparent as possible because I met this lady out one day and I was telling her about it because I was drunk at the club child. I just be telling my business in the bathroom. You know how that go. But I was talking to this lady about it and she was much older than me. And she was like, girl, I'm, she said, my girl, it's been, it's been five years for me. I said, girl, girl, for real, sis, okay, I don't feel that bad about myself because it be like that sometimes like sometimes you just gotta take those breaks and it's like even for her five years that's not even embarrassing to me I, it is what it is i feel like everybody different and women can still go around it you can still find ways to please yourself so it's just like it is what it is if you feel like you gotta take that break you just have to take that break 
and I'm looking for something and if I can't find it, then I'm perfectly fine where I'm at. If I find it, then hey, it is what it is. But until then, I'm perfectly fine where I'm at because I'm content with being by myself. I'm content with dating myself. I'm content with loving myself. And being single, it's nothing wrong with it, okay? Sometimes you have to be by yourself because that's when you focus the best. That's when you work the hardest. That's when you really just, you just see things for what it is. I feel like being in relationships and stuff, it could be a distraction. Not all the time. Sometimes it's a beautiful thing. Like I said, I'm meant to be in a relationship, the type of girl that I am. Because going from a relationship to single, is it was hard for me. Because I went from a nigga loving me to niggas not giving a fuck about me. And honey, that's something that did not sit right with me. I'm just like, why everybody not giving me princess treatment? Okay? That's just what I'm used to. So it was really hard for me, like, going from that to that it was just like I hate it here and now I'm just in the middle like I'm just with myself I'm just chilling or whatever but I do feel like eventually I am gonna get back out there I am open to like dating this year like last year and the years before that I was not even open to dating this year I feel like it's been you know I'm healed I'm not done but I'm definitely better than where I started so I feel like yeah like I'm open to dating this year um or whatever but it, it, it's the same shit like if you come into me with the bare minimum then it's not gonna work you're not for me you're not you're gonna get dismissed no sometimes you just gotta set the tone you know you gotta be that bitch that a nigga like okay i gotta kind of move a little different with her because this bitch ain't dumb because they'll they'll try you regardless but once you show them the type of girl that you are and the type of shit that you're not taking then they're gonna move a certain way and if they don't there's more out there so you just have to have that mindset like it's 2022 we are the prize i feel like women have to learn that we are the prize at the end of the day like we are the prize and no we can't just it's not just sex that we can offer we're so much more than that so i feel like once you understand that you're the prize and that a person should be grateful to even be talking to you hey like that's just the energy that you need like that's just the energy you should have and once you figure that out you gon' you won't you gonna realize some things you're gonna see like okay i settled in the past and i'm not doing that no more and i feel like everybody should feel that way about themselves, men and women like we are the prize like i'm the prize okay so when the boy come to me trying to talk to me you know you can't be hitting me with the bare minimum like for instance sending me hard eyes on instagram and getting mad because i'm really not interacting with you that shit is basic okay you sending hard eyes everybody can send that that's just telling me that you think i'm cute that's not telling me like hey i'm trying to go on a date like you know that's the type of energy that i need let's go on a date you free this day when you, where you want to go what type of stuff do you like what type of food do you like you know not like oh let's chill Sir, I can chill in my room by myself. Let's, let me pull up. No. Mm -mm. I'm not chilling with a man until I'm in a relationship with you or we talking for a while and we comfortable because when I'm in a relationship, like chilling in the house, it's nothing wrong with that. But when you're trying to pursue me and the first thing you want to do is chill in the car, no, honey, no, no. Mm -mm, red flag. Red flag. Don't play with me. Why you don't want to take me on a date? Yeah, honestly, I just wanted to make this my first topic of my Morgan Monday because I'm just like, this is something that I can really relate to. And I feel like it's people out there that kind of have those feelings that I had in the beginning. But you don't really know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really know that you're going to go on this journey of just dating yourself and finding yourself and just having self-worth and self-love. You don't really know. I feel like God just kind of like sit us down and let us realize certain things. And then you just go from there. It's okay to have that downtime, and it's okay to have that time where you're not really talking to people and stuff like that. Not saying it's easy, but it's okay. Like it is what it is. Like it's gonna be the end. The end game is gonna be good because by the time you meet somebody that's really for you, you're gonna be prepared for that person because mentally you're there. You're there. You're there, babe. Yeah, I hope I wasn't all over the place for y'all. Um, this is not really a long video. I just wanted to make this my first little Morgan Monday. Just kind of get my feet wet so like i said um comment anything that you want to talk about below if you have any certain topics that you want to talk about 
any advice that you feel like I can help you with or let's just have some girl talk and I want my Morgan Mondays to be about different things so we can talk about girl stuff feminine hygiene you know feminine things we can talk about business we can talk about starting YouTube we can talk about drama like we can talk about it all we can talk about what's going on in the industry the celebrity tea like baby i'm here for all the tea you know i want y'all to look at me as like a sister a big sister a little sister whatever it is i just want to give those vibes that this is a safe place and we can talk about whatever y'all want to talk about okay i'm a person of different things different talents different experiences different everything i don't ever want to be limited to one type of category like so we can literally talk about different things like it's times where i'm deep it's times where i'm funny it's times where i'm freaky it's times where i'm like it just depends you know and i'm willing to talk about whatever y'all want to talk about and like i said this is a safe place so if you made it all the way to the end of this video although it's not that long Thank you so much for listening to me talk, y'all. Y'all know I be rambling, but I hope this made sense. I feel like it did. Um, but again, I love y'all so much. Don't forget to stay pretty and stay blessed, and I will see y'all in the next Morgan Monday. Bye, besties.